full body roll. <laughs> I used to be able to do quite a good. That was quite a good one. I can't go backwards because in dance class they used to make us go like. Is this recording? Hello everyone, how are we doing? Are we good? You might, you can, can you see me in this high def, this high quality? I have a new camera. It was a lot, it was a, many of my life savings, but I don't know how to use it, you know? There are many buttons and I'm used to just one and then it just focuses. And this one is like, ooh, but would you like this spicy other button? And I'm like, no. Um, so we're not thriving currently and I don't know how, how it's gonna go. <laughs> Welcome back to videos on this channel. Who knows how this is gonna go? We love. Today, oh wait, before I start, before I start, I just wanna say my Millennial Coffee Club, my beautiful coffee brand is launching on Tuesday, guys. So on Tuesday, the Millennial Coffee Club is releasing the original all black hoodie and we're also releasing the Millennial Coffee Club iced coffee cup. Ah! If you go back through my last few videos and you see me using a clear iced coffee cup, they were the prototypes. They were the design prototypes that I've been hinting at you this whole time. So you're welcome and you can get your hands on the iced coffee cup or the hoodie on Tuesday. They're limited edition. I don't know how quickly they will go or whether any will sell or I don't know what will happen. But if you want to get your hands on season one, then I'll see you there on Tuesday. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. <sighs> the crisp taste in the fast fox stomped over the fence. Today what I wanted to do is just to give you a bit of a chilled update video. Look how chilled I am. Look how chilled I am, guys. We've got a lot of content coming up over the next few weeks. We have lookbook content. We have room redecoration content. We have me starting my job at a law firm content. So I thought today I'm just going to take it back a few notches and have a discussion of what I'm actually doing this summer. Unless you follow me on Twitter and you see how insanely active I am over Twitter, then you might not know I have quite a lot of time on my hands at the moment. Like a worrying amount. I'm getting existential and it's a good job that I'm renting this property and that I can't paint the walls because I'd have been painting at 2am. I honestly would have been. Last night I moved my bed, just, just rotated it. It got, to, it got to like 1.45 a.m. and I was like, you know what, we gotta change this up. <laughs> One thing that I am doing this summer that I've had a lot of questions about, and it's kind of what most of this video is gonna be about, is about my MSc in business. That's right, your girl couldn't take a summer holiday, could she? I couldn't just take a break. I'm doing a master's in business course over summer. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are. You... So as you might have seen, I went through hell and back when I did the LPC exam season. So as you know, I did the LPC from January to June. June is a six month course. I did my exam season in June. However, what you don't know is that since March, I've also been taking my business classes. Just, you know, just some little side, side classes. Basically, they were taught at the same place as where I was doing my LPC, so at the University of Law, so it was very, very easy for me to do. I wasn't traveling between like two different universities or two different campuses. And basically, it actually makes a lot of sense to do if you are given the opportunity on your LPC to do an MSc with your LPC, because that's basically how it's structured. You do your LPC and you can attach your MSc in business onto the end. That's generally to do with the commerciality of the LPC. LPC, you can do a lot of like business, commercial, optional electives. And that means that a lot of those classes that you're actually doing for your LPC can actually hold MSc credits in them. So I was able to do those classes from March to like early May. Then I did my LPC exam season and I wasn't thinking about the MSc at all. And then <laughs> you might have seen on my Instagram, basically I finished my exam period 
in June. Yeah, late June. And then within a week, I had my first MSc essay due. That's right. <laughs> I was completely brain dead. I had no brain cells left. Even the one brain cell I had left, he was like, nope. So for a whole week, I sat there with no brain cells and I tried to write this MSc essay, which I did end up handing in, which is why some of you might have seen on my Instagram story that I was still in the library, even after my exams had actually finished. And you were like, are you a psychopath? And I was like, kind of. Yes. The good thing that I'm not mentioning here is the way that the MSc is actually assessed and it's assessed in quite a manageable way. So obviously I did my lectures and my tutorials and my classes and all of that kind of stuff between like March and early May. They were all my credit worthy classes. And then in terms of how that is then assessed, we have two essays essentially. And um, one of those is the report that I did in July. And then I have another one due in September. Now, what you might be thinking is what is an MSc in business? And that is such a good and valid question because sometimes I feel like you hear what people do and you're like oh she's doing a qualification in business or management or accounting and like what does that actually mean whoa would you look at that I've changed I've done a 180 twist on my chair I've also got up I physically moved the tripod and actually my environment doesn't look any different so I don't know what I was trying to achieve isn't that a metaphor of life <laughs> So guys, so let's get down to business. What I thought I would do is I thought I would just quickly talk you through the topics that we did on the course. I know that might sound boring, <laughs> but it's actually not. I think it's quite interesting to hear what an MSc in business is like and what I'm actually learning. So there are only seven topics, so it won't even take that long to go through. I've got my laptop here, by the way. I'm not just kind of like shy. Don't look. <laughs> First one is the economy, business environment, and globalization. Ooh, this topic was actually really helpful for me to kind of give me a, an idea of like what was actually happening. I don't know about you, but I genuinely have never taken an economics class. I don't know why, I, because I didn't do it at GCSE, I didn't do it at A level. At university, law is just like law. You don't really do any economics unless you do a specific economics module. I basically don't actually know much about our own economy apart from like reading I've done myself. And so it's actually very helpful to learn about, you know, what the pound means, what currency means, what the interest rates mean, what inflation means, what the global financial crash was. Like basic things to do with how our economy is structured that if no one had like sat down and taught me, I just wouldn't know. The second class was called the functioning of the city. This was again one of those units where I just had no idea about the financial markets. No one had really talked to me about the stock market before. So it was really helpful to hear about how companies use different financial markets to integrate with each other, to raise money, to expand their businesses. The third class was on management. And that was very interesting because it was when we started to look more internally at businesses and how businesses are run from the inside. Okay, <laughs> okay so the next two classes I struggled with intensely I won't lie at all so they were financial analysis and corporate finance they were two separate classes and that was kind of all about like maths and interesting financial equations in my day-to-day -day job am I gonna need to know how to do any of those calculations in the future sadly no I probably won't have to do them ever again but the important thing is is having an awareness of those calculations and how for example you would value businesses the final two classes were marketing and business development and strategy looks at kind of like the relationship between the business and the customer Hey, oh my God, that worked so well. <laughs> so I'm hoping that that was somewhat interesting. I always think it's important that if you guys are gonna follow what I'm doing, you actually know what I am doing. Otherwise I just kind of throw words around like, oh, my business masters. And one of you might be like, what is that? What do you actually learn? One more essay to do. And then I'm actually finished with my education. I, I guess I've technically still not left education. I'm still here. I feel, I feel like I've been caged, but more importantly, that means there probably will be some very stressed study with me is coming at the end of August, which will probably be good for you guys because hopefully it will get you productive for the new school year and you can feel ready to go, ready to tackle the work, ready to make this year your best year. Make it your best year. I don't know why that feels like it should be a song. Make this your best year. We can make this your best year. 
Yeah. <laughs> Now I know why that wasn't a song. <laughs> so Linklater is my firm are very, very involved in the MSC. They like to see all of the essays that are submitted, especially the second case study, because the case study is basically an innovative idea that we're pitching to the firm, like a business pitch. Um, so that will be interesting. So at the moment, I'm not doing too much work. I'm definitely counting this part of summer as like my time off. I'm going to Japan in less than two weeks now with Jade, and Jade, Jade, if you watch Jade, um, which will be super exciting, and there will be lots of fun vlogs from that. And then when it gets to the end of August, we've got to grind out that final essay, that final case study, I'm gonna finish my master's. And then finally, once I've handed in this final essay, I've got my master's done, I've got my LPC done, I've got my law degree, I've got all of my qualifications under the belt, I'm gonna be starting as a trainee solicitor, and that in itself is gonna be a journey so yeah I'm very excited for that and yeah I guess that's kind of like the update for now that's kind of like what I'm doing in the background I'm doing more of my MSc work in early July and late August so at the moment this is kind of like my brief period off but I thought I would explain it so that when I'm grinding out those final few hours in August you just know immediately what I'm working on because then I feel like we're all on the same page and we all just we all know we're all just like on the same vibe guys we're on the same vibe so yeah that's all of the updates keep an eye out for the MCC launch on Tuesday try and get your hands on the hoodie or the iced coffee cup it's all just very exciting and yeah there's a lot of content to come this month so stay tuned guys follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram and I will see you all very soon